In the last video, I provided a general introduction to GNS and a few troubleshooting tips. This video provides information on the GNS menus. The main menu is a transparent toolbar located along the left margin, and the widgets menu is located at the right side of the blue toolbar at the top of the main interface. The first three sets of buttons in the main menu control zooming in and out on the map. The plus and minus buttons allow you to zoom in and out. The home button returns you to the default scale, which is a global view of the entire world map. And the arrow buttons allow you to move forward and back through your zoom history. If you wish to enter diacritics in your searches, clicking on the icon of a keyboard will allow you to open an embedded regional keyboard on your screen for selecting the characters you wish to input. For instance, if you are searching for a German place name and wish to add an asset, you can click on the Region 4 CEA keyboard and then copy and paste the text into the search box. Please note that this feature currently only supports Latin characters with diacritics and not non-Latin characters. The magnifying glass opens a fuzzy search box without having to go through the widget search interface. Although please be advised that a fuzzy search may not give you the best results for detecting heading conflicts and determining necessary qualifiers. The icon with chain links provides a table of links out to other GNS-related websites. The picture of a document with a magnifying glass opens a searchable glossary of codes used by GNS for things like languages, countries, name types, and so on. The ruler allows you to measure between two points on the map or to obtain the area within a polygon, the former of which could be useful for scale measurements and cartographic records, but I personally find many other tools less cumbersome than the one in GNS, so I will not be covering that feature in these videos. We move next to the widgets menu. The widgets menu has several clickable icons, but I will only cover four. The question mark opens a PDF version of the GNS user's manual, which contains much of the information included in these videos, as well as additional information about all of GNS's many geospatial features and capabilities. The envelope with the question mark opens a contact us form that will allow you to send questions, comments, and fan mail to the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency regarding the GNS tool. The magnifying glass opens and closes the main search interface, which can also be minimized or expanded by clicking on the double arrows or the X at the top of the pop-up window. On some browser setups, you may see fewer icons than you see here. In those cases, you may need to click on another icon to further expand your icon options before clicking on the magnifying glass. The icon composed of colored dots opens a form that will allow you to opt out of GNS's tracking service. One last interface I will show you is that the results list at the bottom of the screen can be expanded and collapsed by clicking on the tab with the black arrow at the bottom center of the screen. In the next video, I will cover performing a standard search with a country filter applied. If there are more videos you'd like to see, or if GNS has been updated and made this video out of date, please contact me using the information provided on this page.